Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I take a look at the creepy and strange things that are going on the internet. If you enjoy the video, please support me by liking, subscribing, sharing the content. I really appreciate it. And let's get started. I usually don't record while I'm on the job. Um, but this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. I'm here at work. I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. Just so... I don't know, I'll let you guys know this school was built on the cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my oh, situation. That's not, weird. But previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night. Why would they build it on a cemetery? I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, I didn't really believe them until tonight. Um,. I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Um, no matter where I'm at in the classroom, Yo, or it's Pennywise. What I decide to do, it just follows me. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just uh, mm, see. Yo, it's moving that right there. What? It's like slowly moving towards him. That's weird. No, is it gonna come around the corner? Ooh. No. Okay. What? See, no, no, no. That's actually really creepy. No, why is it slowly swallowing him? What? Well, what was that? Oh, yeah. That was actually pretty creepy. Picture working alone at night at a school and that happens. What do you think? Was it some pranksters or something like that? I don't know. That was actually really creepy. It's probably Pennywise, you know? Come on. But that's not real. No way. Okay. It's not currently in there. That's freaky. But she was so scary looking. My sister and the kids are gone for tonight. Like I'm here by myself. The, like the kids had football practice, so they had to go do their own thing. Thank you. So I ordered DoorDash, and I ordered no. Oh my God, she's still fucking standing. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying, low-key. So apparently this guy lives in the Appalachian Mountains, and he's experienced all these weird things that are happening to him. I don't know if they're real or not, but that lady was creepy. If this is real, I hope this guy found help. Oh, that's sick. Wow, it's like mesmerizing. Yo, know, that place is so beautiful. Is it just me? I'm definitely gonna visit there one day. Bro, tell me why the fuck this thing just fell out of my Burger King and is now fucking. Oh, it's moving. Out, so. Why does that guy sound like he's still chewing on his food? What in the actual fuck? Now watch this. I'd spit that out by now. Slice of fish. What? This is supposed to be whitey. He's got skin on everything. Look at it. Right? The insides of it is like a diaper material. Look at that. You know, like a wet diaper, right? Now watch this. Now where do you know a fish? You can squeeze it like a sponge, like this. Where on the planet you know you can squeeze a fish like that? Now look, put it back in the water. 
and it's whole again. So that's kind of weird. See? I don't eat enough fish to know that, but okay, so here's it looks kind of weird. It is a touch sensor thing. And here's some strawberries. I see like it'll be pretty cool, but nothing happens when I'm just asking for box, something paranormal to happen there. Touch a strawberry. <laughs> that's kind of weird. But nothing happens when I touch the box, just the strawberries. What happened there? Slice. Now, in my time growing up, I never seen a whitey fish this fucking big. Well, I know it, it probably got them, but I ain't never seen them like this. You know, I seen them. This was the biggest I remember seeing them like this right here. And look, it's all the same. You squeeze them like a, like a sponge. Look, you ain't breaking up or nothing. And you put it in the water. That's kind of weird. And it's a whole fish again. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Are there any fish lovers out there that eat a lot of fish that knows what's going on with a sponge fish? I have no clue. I don't eat a lot of fish. I'm pretty sure the first one was a tapeworm. I don't know why that guy was still chewing on his food. That's just crazy. A couple of weeks ago, treasure hunter John Ventura was deep in the woods somewhere in Brazil when all of a sudden they came across this mysterious rock. <laughs> It's so hard to see if these are real or not. Ó, ficou bem vermelha, cara. Olha isso. Olha, ficou vermelha. Mudou? Mudou a cor. While metal detecting somewhere in the woods in Brazil, they came across this box made of gold, and inside of it was this rock. Whatever this thing is, it seems to change color and temperature when someone touches it. What do you think? Is it the Philosopher's Stone? In this particular part of the video, we can see it heating up the water, and when they put it back into the box, it gets colder, and you can clearly see it changing its color. Up until now, there's not much information on what this mysterious rock could be, but I'm guessing that this is most likely some sort of ancient artifact, maybe even related to these ancient myths of underground cities in the Amazon forest. But I'm not sure. I may actually do a part two on this video if I find out more information. Yeah, I don't know if that's real or not. There's so many cuts in that video, it could be faked or something like that. But if it was real, if it was the Philosopher's Stone, that'd be pretty cool, right? You have an unlimited amount of energy in that little thing. Keep you warm on those winter nights. Yeah, that was a car, that was a car. Yo, they broke rule number one, okay? Never be outside at night on the Appalachian Mountains. Hey, bro. I, hey, <laughs> I think it's a train. Oh, I thought that was part of the music. It's like a weird whistle. Okay, do you guys want to go inside? No, no. I'm recording this shit, bro. Yeah, that was a little weird. It could be a train. I thought it was part of the music or the soundtrack, but it's like a whistle noise. It's pretty loud, too. Could be many factors. What do you guys think? What is going on there? It looked like it just blinked. Those are vampires. I'm pretty sure that one's just static electricity. Oh, that's weird. That one's trippy. The last one with a floating rock, that was pretty cool, if that was real. Oh, 
Ты увидите, что в углу? Нет. Was she possessed or something? Imagine being called in and you're low-key just terrified of the situation, but you have to be there because you're a cop. person is just distressed. I don't know if it's actually like a possession or something like that. <laughs> hey, why is the person that's holding the flashlight just freaking out though? What's going on? Just hold it still, my guy. Imagine being called into like a haunted place and you have to find out what is going on, but you're just low key scared. Each room is together. Oh, what the? When one of my best friends and I went out exploring to these terrifying haunted places, the cemeteries, the haunted bridge, the haunted basement, some of these haunted places, something definitely had attached to me and had followed me back here. And ever since then, things have been happening in my house. And there's this one time that was the most terrifying That's why you don't go exploring, I've okay? Had in here, the most intense in random ass places. And I guess it was too intense for YouTube for some reason. But anyway, here it is. This is one of the most craziest, most terrifying experiences in this house. And see if you can figure out what that figure was outside lurking around in the darkness because something was out there and something was different. I don't think they just explored. I'm pretty sure they try to communicate with it. That's usually how they attach themselves how to you is if you're actually trying room, to communicate with them. I call the beach room. It's together. Oh, what the? All right. That door just literally slammed. All right, I'm trying to just, I'm trying to have a good night right now, and now this happens. <sighs> There's no way that the air conditioning or any kind of air is gonna do that. There's no way, there is no way. Someone in here. Why do people yeah, never turn on the lights? That looks like what it's is been... going on? If there's somebody in this closet, it's not going to go well. I don't know if I believe in any of these videos when people actually just don't turn on the lights. Like, why? What? Oh, what the? All right. The bathroom door just slammed, and then now that door just slammed. Just slammed shut. All right. I just heard something in here now. What the? Now, what the hell? Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know. What? This is the one or not. All right, who? What? It's just his demeanor. How did? All right, that just flew. That just, it's just flew like, from what? over here somewhere. No, door closed. That was just sitting. You know what? I can't. I, I can't just let, I just can't have something just sitting here like that, no. What? What? Oh, shit. Oh, we're not, we're not doing this again. Uh-uh. No, we are not doing this again. What the?
No, 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 don't. I am done with this. This is not happening. Not again. Oh, come on. Whoa, wait a minute here. Now I got every damn thing open. Stop opening my shit. Refrigerator, drawers, sink is on. I'd be a lot angrier than that. That's what for the sure. Hell? All right. Who's in here? I wonder if I should even go try to look in here. Hey, this guy, I don't know what it is, but he's probably just inviting these things in here. If it is real. Are there any spirits up in my attic that would like to come down? Turn on the lights, but maybe find your way out of my house. That door just yeah, it just like jerked up and now a bolt fly. Yeah, I don't know if any of that was real, but if it is, I'm pretty sure this guy's just inviting these things in here. And I don't understand why people never turn on the lights in these situations. Like, what are they doing? Dog's a paid actor. What? That's pretty good. <laughs> Little guys pulling out all the moves just to get some food. Alright guys, I think I'm done for the night. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, peace.